All right, y'all, back at you. And today we're gonna be uh, planting some uh, plants that we probably shouldn't have bought, but we did when we went into town the other day. We kind of have a problem with plants. Um, we do. Seen any of our other videos, we're always playing with plants and talking about plants, but and we actually have other plants that are still in the pots that they came in that we haven't planted yet, but we went out and bought these. Um, so we're gonna get these in the ground today. We're actually really excited about that one right there. What yeah. is it? A strawberry tree. Yeah, and I actually, I brought the little tag out here so you guys can see the exact cultivar. It's, it's called a Matinga Calibura. You can see it right there. Um, but it's also called a strawberry tree. I think some people also call it a Jamaican cherry. Um, and these are really great because they fruit multiple times a year. And um, we've never had one before, but we've been told that the fruits actually taste like cotton candy. Yeah. So uh, that sounds good to me, eh? Yeah, this, I mean, sounds great. And it's supposed to be real prolific, yeah. too. It's supposed to get pretty big, too. But we got a good spot for it. Um, and then after we plant that one, we also, we just couldn't pass on some other little, we got a, what is this, a Thai basil, and then what are these? Uh, these are just vincas. Vincas, yeah. But they're like a beach flower that yeah. do like, they spread real nice here. And we already have. I love them. They're, and they don't seem like they'd be a good, like, cut flower for bouquets, but they just, they're great. They're, and they last for like forever. They just keep blooming, so. We already have uh, maybe three varieties of these, so just adding to our collection here. And then we got another tea plant, another variety we don't have. Teddy yeah. picked this one out. Yeah, our son picked this one out. If you watch other videos, you know that we're um, crazy about tea plants. We have lots of them, lots of different varieties of them. Uh, we got more throughout the property. I think that might be a tea plant too. Yes, the green one over there, yeah. Uh -huh. But um, all right, well, let's get going. Let's go ahead and plant this strawberry tree. Mm -hmm. Um, and then we'll come back to the front garden and plant the flowers and stuff. And then I have a place for this uh, tea plant in the backyard. So Sounds good. I'm going to hand this over to you. And here you go. We actually have a perfect place for a fruit tree. It looks like it was just tailor-made for a fruit tree, eh? Yeah. And full, di full disclosure, we actually had a fruit tree here that we killed. So now we... We bought another fruit tree that we're yep. gonna plant here. We're gonna try something new. Hopefully we won't kill this one. So. Now I don't know if you noticed this, Brent, but the soil in the pot that we bought is real sandy too. Usually when you buy plants from the nursery, it's like a, more of a potting soil. We had a loquat here. A Christmas loquat. And, um, I really didn't do much to help it, and uh, it failed on us, so I learned my lesson. I think that's gonna do well for us. pretty close when you put it in there. Huh? It was pretty close to... Perfect. Does that look good? That I think so. Good. Yeah. It's great. 
And they call this a strawberry tree, I read, because the flowers look like strawberry flowers. Strawberry flowers. Mm-hmm. Because the fruit looks more like a cherry. Some other tree online they were calling a strawberry tree, but I'm pretty sure it was a... Lychee? A lychee. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but, I don't know, maybe there's another strawberry tree that looks just like a lychee. come back and water this real good. We're done planting today. We'll do that off camera. You guys need to watch this water. We'll get the bar, or the we pull the mulch, mulch away the from the tree here. There we go. Nice. All right, good luck little tree. We're rooting for you. You probably won't get as much help from me as you should, so good luck. I guess while we're already on our way, let's go down to the pool and put pop this guy in. Sounds great. So, super excited about that one. Yeah, me too. It better give us little cotton candy tasted fruits. And the kids will love that. We paid, uh, I want to say maybe $39 for it. I don't yeah. know. It's kind of expensive, but. We better be getting lots of fruits. That we have a problem. I don't have a cool car. I drive a minivan. But I buy all the plants I want. <laughs> While I'm sitting at the stoplight next to some cool guy in a cool Mustang, I look over, I'm like, yeah, that's right. You got your Mustang. I get to go to the plant nursery. Full disclosure, I would like his Mustang too. I'm jealous. I got my minivan, so it is what it is. All right, here we go. We wouldn't all fit in a Mustang. Yeah, I know. I've already owned a Mustang. Well, I actually don't think no, I have owned a Mustang. You have not Camaros, but no Mustang. Yeah. But I have anything against Mustang. All right, so I want to start. I'm going to start. We use this oyster plant as kind of a filler um, in beds. And we just don't have anything else to. Uh, put there, but I'm going to start planting um, taller stuff around our pool equipment here because I'm kind of sick of looking at it. So. This tea plant's going to go right here. And these oyster plants are going to go. Bye-bye. And we'll just move them somewhere else. here on the corner. Hopefully there's no uh, pool uh, plumbing down there that I'm about to hit. I have no clue if there is or not. We're trial and error around here. I haven't hit my head yet on the golf cart today wearing this hat. So I'm only one step ahead in that regard. What do we got? Something concerning? Nope, just a... Ooh, what is this? Did I just break something? Guess we'll find out later, eh? <laughs> <laughs> the, pool the pool sounds like everything's still functioning right now, so... Just a little extra hose. <laughs> no worries. Who needs extra parts? <laughs> plumbing right there. Oh man. We got close. We got close guys. We got lucky. Might have to read with my hands. Come on out. I won't destroy anything. Alright, I think we're good. Let's see what we got. That is such a cool color. Beautiful color. Beautiful plant. There's a bunch of 
junk down in this hole. All right, to plant. Well, I hope this comes out easy. It feels like it was just potted in here, so. Did that tea plant have a name? Was it like the Especial or something? Remember. It's something like Special Number Five or something. That's kind of lame. What? That's kind of lame. Yeah. Number for plant. Can't they come up with a cool name? Yeah, it was just potted. It's barely rooted in there, but that's okay. We planted tons of tea plants, and you don't need any roots on a tea plant to get it to to take. I think you should pop a couple more of the oyster plants out. What do you think? Get it out of their way. Yeah, just to, like showcase, showcase it, a little, it a little bit more. Maybe like that one right there. Perfect. Yeah, that looks way better. There we go. Nice. Beautiful. Yeah. That's actually a pretty big plant. Took up a lot of space. And these will get pretty tall if you let them. I guess it just depends on the location. This one's been here forever and it's only four or five feet tall. Uh -huh. so. the storms might keep it small. That doesn't look like too much of a change right now, but when this gets a little taller, we won't have to look at our uh, pool equipment there while we're enjoying a swim in the pool. Ultimately, we'd like to move all the pool equipment over here so we don't have to listen to it all the time, but I I bet that's gonna be expensive. Yeah. All right, let's go put these uh, flowers. Yeah, put this stuff in the front garden and call it a day. We've got three kids inside. I'm sure they're either hungry or cranky or I don't know. When you have three of them, they're all, of course, they're always all a joy, but they're not always uh, happy. All in the same mood, we'll say. So uh, they've been pretty good to me, though. I'm just joking. Oh, we got great kids. I love them. We'll definitely keep at least two of them. <laughs> Which two? Uh, it's up to them. <laughs> <laughs> just kidding, everybody. We love our kids. I'm just kidding. Right. I'm dirty. Got my golf car all dirty. Fun and easy. Fun and easy. Alright. A couple of these little flowers here. Flower here. Alright. You're the boss. Where did these go? You the boss. You the boss. I, uh, I, I was originally thinking that maybe fuchsia one. Here. That's what I was thinking. Put one right there. Yeah. That fuchsia one, maybe? That pink one is so pretty. Okay. Maybe put it right there. Yeah. In the middle of the, the sprinkler, though. I can't have stuff too uh, tall right yeah, there. Yeah, yeah. Maybe next to this penta. Yeah. Right here. Yeah. Boom. Basil. A basil. Let's stick that with this other basil. Kind of have a basil garden going over here. Basil garden. What about here? like right here? Right here. Yeah. Okay. And then stick that one? flower next in front of that banana. Yeah. Today. You're the boss. All right, here we go. I can smell the basil. Holy cow! This uh, the African blue which basil. Which basil is that? That's African blue Man, basil. It smells yeah. good. It does. It's a good one. Pollinators all all over it all the time. I've got it going everywhere now. flower. We better grow and make us more flowers. That one had roots. We buy plants. I buy them because I like them, but I'm also fully expecting to be able to propagate lots more off of them.
And I'm hoping these spread like our other ones that we I have. I don't know if they will. I'm pretty sure. I mean, I don't want to be pessimistic, but those, uh, that one and the white one seem to be. Uh huh. You see them at the beach and stuff. Yeah. Okay. But they're so pretty. All right. Oh, we got a thick layer of mulch in here. Holy mm -hmm. cow, I didn't realize how thick it was in some places. Look at that. I think we mulched it three or four times. Yeah. Past year. We got some okay soil in here. Well, the mulch is definitely helping. Yeah. All right, well, which one is this? That's a Thai basil. It's got a marker. It's root down a little bit. All right. Good luck. Good luck, little basil. Okay. We save all of our pots. We have yeah. A big, we have a big inventory of different kinds and sizes of pots. What is that? This guy's going. It's ugly. Yeah. And it's old. What are those little flowers in front of it? Is that milkweed right there? Where? Right there. Is that milkweed? It's either milkweed or it's more of the uh, the purple. What is this flower yeah, I just planted? Yeah, the vinca. Vinca, yeah. I think they're vincas. Kind of look like vincas, but they kind of look like milkweeds too, so I don't know. Vincas have like a shinier leaf. I don't know. If you look at the ones back by the pool when they're young like that, they look a lot like milkweed. Okay. But it could be either or, because we definitely have both growing in here, so. Mm -hmm. All right, good luck. Wow, that's a pretty one. I know. I actually saw this growing at one of the beaches. We like going to, and so excited to find it. All right. This guy in right here, I think this is the last plant we have. Yay! You know what that means. Yeah, we're done. No, it means we can go shopping for more plants. Oh, yeah. More we're plants. never done. and dig and it just keeps falling in on itself there we go wow that's a real pretty one mm -hmm. look at that one I spread too oh so pretty i love flowers i still think this one's my favorite though that yeah, color that's... pink is so pretty all right cool all right y'all good job ah! what was that it was a bunny there's Sue. There he is. Where is he? There, there he goes. There he goes. Hey. Ah, you guys will have to check out. There he goes. There goes Bunny Stew. We have a whole series. We have a well. We have a whole series of uh, that we do on our channel called um, Hunting Rabbits by Hand for Beachside Bunny Stew because we have a bunny that hangs out in our garden. You can see he causes us. Look what he just did. He almost gave my wife a heart attack there. Anyways, I didn't know this was going to turn into another episode of Bunny Stew. <laughs> this was supposed to be planting a strawberry tree. But, uh, anyways, he's gone. We didn't get Bunny Stew. We'll, uh, we'll give you guys some updates on that strawberry tree as it, um, as it matures. And, uh, when we get to taste it for the first time, we'll, uh, we'll give you an update on that too. Cause, uh, you know, like, uh, like I said, it's supposed to be real good and it's supposed to fruit multiple times a year too. So yeah, I'm super stoked. Fingers crossed. Alright y'all, I hope you enjoyed our video, and um, until next time, everybody, take care.